Is this thing on? Hey, you're there. What's up, beauty gang? What's going on? Y'all are back for another video. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. As y'all can tell that by the thumbnail, we are going to be talking about maintaining your flowers. So let's hop right into the video. So step one, when it comes to, you know, just maintaining your flowers is to actually get some flowers, you know, um, just actually get some. I would start with like the grocery store or like, you know, when people sell the little bouquets on the side of the road, go the cheapest route because um, if you think, you know, you're just going to get it all your first time now, you might have beginner's luck and you might keep your plants alive for about four, four weeks. But just to practice on, you know, just go get like a $10 bouquet and then just practice on. Step two, which should really be step one, get you a vase. Get you a cute vase. Um, and I like to fit the feng shui of my vibe. Like me personally, I like white or cream vases and I also like glass vases. So I have about four-ish sporadically like around my house so um I, i'm always ready to receive my flowers honey i'm always ready to receive okay and i'm always ready to buy some if i want more you know so that's step two get you a vase you got your flowers you got your vase let's move into step three okay <clears throat> step three when you bring your plants home right Typically, they all have, they come with maybe like seven to ten stems of flowers. And then, boom, you have your plant food, right? So the first thing you want to do is make sure your glass is clean. Yes, I'm talking about soap and water. Scrub-a-dub-dub. Scrub-a-dub-dub. Clean the vase out. Make sure there's no soap left in the vase. And you want to fill it up Um you want to fill it up, but don't do not do too much in the water. Not too, not too much on the water. So when it comes to the water, I don't fill it up all the way. Typically because um, plants, if you fill the water up too far, like literally you'll start seeing like slime on the stem part. And then it'll start like eating at the stem and, it, and the stem will literally start to decay. And then you'll see your flowers slowly, but surely actually fastly and shortly they'll die so fill it up halfway enough for them to get the nutrients you want to go ahead and put a little bit of the food that comes in the package in it in the package in it <laughs> put a little bit of the food that comes in the package put it in the water yeah that's what i meant to say um and then you just want to make sure I get like a straw or like some type of steering wood and then I just stir it together and then cut your stem. So these were actually maybe about this long when I got them. And as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, I cut them diagonally, cut them diagonally and then literally take about an inch and a half off of the stem. And this is just going to ensure that most of the nutrients from the package, the food that we put in the water goes into the, um, goes into the plant correctly. And, you know, they just get as much vitamins as possible because if they were growing outside, you know, they would have all the nutrients from their soil. And unfortunately, they don't have that. Step four, it's still going to be like a watering thing, but I would say, right, we're still watering at this point. Step four, check on your plants, right? You want to check and inspect your plants every day just to make sure there is no slime, sliminess going on. Like literally you will see it'll be slime and you want to just go ahead and cut that off. Um, you want to make sure any dead leaves like, let's see, you see this? Actually, once I'm finished the video, I'm going to go ahead and take all these off. All of this dead stuff, we're gone. We're shedding it. Just like how you cut your split ends on your hair. You want to you wanna cut those split ends because it's, it's not helping anything. Okay? It's not helping. Yeah, Um, every day you want to check. And then when it comes to watering, I change my water every two to three days. 
maximum three days minimum two like literally i only don't change it every two days if i forget but that third day honey mm -hmm, i'm changing my water so literally you want to take the flowers out you can sit them on like a paper towel or some go in um rinse the vase out you don't have to wash it but just rinse the vase out um rinse all the extra components at the bottom and just give them fresh water so um after that i would say literally just vibe with your plants like if you're changing the water consistently you should really see that your plants will love you you will love them and they will do great sunlight 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 research your plant so that you know what kind of sunlight that your plant needs some plants need direct sunlight meaning that they need to be directly by the window okay and then some plants they need indirect sunlight so like these you know i keep saying these because i don't really know the name of them and that is crazy i really think they're like yellow daisies but we we gonna find out they 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 something I've had them before. I just forgot the name, but I do know they like the indirect sunlight, meaning they need sun, but they don't need the sun directly like beaming on them. It, it It's a lot on them um, and that will cause them to die faster. And like I said, I've had these for a week now and they still look beautiful. They still have their bright yellow color. None of them are limping over. So fingers crossed. I am hoping to keep these plants alive for about a month. So I may or may not do an update. If y'all want to update on my plants, please leave a comment in the comment section. That's really all you need to know when it comes to your beginning phases into becoming a plant parent. And if there's some plant dads in here or some wannabe plant dads, drop it in the comments, y'all. Drop in the comments what y'all want, what y'all like, what y'all don't like. I need some plant parent friends. I do. I do because being a plant parent is very it's an emotional roller coaster it that's is. all i really have for y'all today i'm gonna do another video when it comes to actually like once you're past the beginner phase you go into your intermediate or expert phase and you're actually growing plants that come back like every season so high maintenance it's, it's really a high maintenance experience at this point but i hope you all like the video thank y'all for watching i love y'all so much and tune in because our next video is going to be a definitely it's going to be a it's going to be a good one so come back for more like i said if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel like the video and drop anything you want to see in the future in the comments i love y'all so much bye